Hello, welcome to GXG Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at cabin pressure, cabin altitude, differential pressure, cabin vertical speed, and the relationship between them. These terms are connected to the pressurization of an aircraft. This is controlled by an aircraft's pressurization system. This system controls the amount of air available inside the aircraft, which is directly related to the air pressure in the aircraft. First, let's look at what is cabin pressure. Cabin pressure refers to the pressure that is maintained inside an aircraft. An aircraft normally spends most of its flight time at very high altitudes. At these altitudes, the outside air pressure is very low, so the cabin must be pressurized. Cabin pressurization ensures sufficient oxygen is available inside the aircraft, preventing hypoxia. Low air pressure can also cause body pain and discomfort to the people on board. Now let's look at cabin altitude. The pressure maintained in the cabin will be equivalent to air pressure at a particular altitude. This is called cabin altitude. Normally, the cabin altitude is between 6,000 feet to 8,000 feet. Differential pressure. This is the difference between the pressure maintained inside the aircraft and the outside air pressure. During a normal flight, the differential pressure must be positive because the cabin pressure must be more than the pressure outside the aircraft. Cabin vertical speed. This is the rate at which the cabin altitude changes inside an aircraft. This vertical speed can be positive or negative. Now let's look at the relationship between these. Let's consider an aircraft climbing to its cruise altitude. During the climb, the cabin pressure will be decreased. When the cabin pressure decreases, the cabin altitude increases. The cabin vertical speed will be in the positive range but it will be less than the aircraft's vertical speed. The differential pressure will gradually increase. Now let's consider the aircraft is descending from its cruise altitude. Here, the cabin pressure has to increase. An increase in cabin pressure means the cabin altitude decreases. The cabin vertical speed will be in the negative range. The differential pressure will gradually decrease. During cruise, the cabin pressure, the cabin altitude and the differential pressure will be constant. The cabin vertical speed will be zero. The aircraft pressurization works with the air conditioning system which constantly supplies air inside the aircraft. The cabin pressure is controlled by an outflow valve. When the outflow valve is closed, the air available inside the aircraft increases, which means the cabin pressure increases. When the outflow valve is opened, the air in the cabin decreases, which means a decrease in the cabin pressure. That's all for my video on some terms connected to the pressurization of an aircraft. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share and subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.